There are now copycat um, protests all around the world, uh, Paris being one example, there's some in Auckland, and the French authorities are, are kind of quite early on trying to crack down with um, very large fines for anyone who takes part in, in these protests. I think one of the most fascinating things about the Freedom Convoy is not necessarily just the protest itself, which you know, has been going on for weeks and is causing real disruption in, in Canada and you know, even to the US um, to a certain extent now, um, has been the reaction. I mean, it's the same reaction we get to every kind of um, populist revolt. So, you know, not only are the Canadian truckers accused of being anti-vaxxers, even though they mostly are just against mandatory vaccination, they're also, for no apparent reason, accused of being racist, misogynistic, transphobic. You know, I read a BBC article about the truckers, and out of nowhere, I'm hearing an account of how trans people are afraid of them. And you're like, what? where does this come from? So there is a kind of... Um, there's almost like a kind of playbook. There's an, every time working-class people assert themselves these days, they don't even have to open their mouths. The assumption is, well, they, it must be racism. It must be some kind of bigotry. They must be offending on, against some kind of protected group, when the evidence for that is, is just not there. As is the, um, the convoy in Paris. It's mm. not going to be there. So police have warned those taking part, they risk a two-year prison sentence, a driving ban, and a four and a half thousand... Euro fine. Liberté, égalité. <laughs> That's what I need to say. Love it. Yeah. The French have real form on cracking down on protests. I remember going to Paris uh, during the Gilets Jaunes yeah. protests, and it was extraordinary. You know, the police firing tear gas everywhere. I myself uh, got tear gassed, which was an unpleasant experience. Mm. You know, people being uh, beaten up by the police. I saw, you know, you saw people being dragged out of wheelchairs and old ladies mm. being attacked. French police are, I mean, completely crazy. We talk about the culture of the Met Police here, but mm. if you've ever been on a skiing holiday, French resorts, oh, they're yeah. terrifying.